All right, uh, Math 8, Week 3. Uh, here's what Mrs. D. Rosario says. Uh, you'll be learning about perfect squares, perfect cubes, and how to find their roots. All right, um, there's a video, and you're going to need to use the calculator, and there's some notes. And then there's two practice worksheet assignments, as well as a form that you need to complete by Friday. Uh, and she says, remember, the more you complete, the better your grade will be. And she has some notes here. So if you want to make these bigger, all you got to do is click on them and they'll get bigger. And you can you can look at her notes here. So she has a couple images here of some notes so that you can uh, see those. OK, um, all these you can scroll down and, and click on each of these images and make it larger. All right. Um, so for both of these assignments, you need to use the scientific calculator. So I'm going to show you a little tip here if you're on your computer. So I'm going to click on scientific calculator, and this is the link right here. So I'm going to right click on the link, open in new window. Okay, That's going to open a new window. And then I'm just going to grab the top of it and bounce it to the, the side of my screen. It's going to give me half the screen. Okay. Now, back on the teams here on the other side, oops, too far back, math. I'm going to go into the first assignment here, which is the square cube roots. Nope, that's not it. I'm going to go into this one that's called square roots and cube roots. Okay. Here it is. These are the two uh, Word documents, okay? And you're going to use this calculator over here. So we're going to click the first one. Remember, anytime you get a Word file, you have to go up, click Edit Document, Edit in Browser, right? Let it load in all of the equations here, okay? And then you're going to use the calculator to figure out your answers and type your answers in these boxes. All right. And once you're done, click close. Work on the other one, the other one, the other worksheet here. Okay. Same thing. You still have your calculator up over here. Oh, we have a Word document. Edit document. Edit in browser. Okay. You let it load in all the equations. It takes a little bit. Um, and again, do these problems on the calculator here. The video is actually going to show you how to how to do that and I'll go over that in a second here it might be might be wise to do the video before trying to do uh, these worksheets because she talks about in the video how to solve these problems but just type in your answers in here click close once those two things are done click the purple turn in button okay we'll keep that document the the calculator open here all right um let's go over the video here so the video okay uh, we're actually going to use another new window here. So we're going to go, uh, before we open this, we're going to go to video lessons and notes. Okay. And you're going to click on the video, right click on the video and open that in a new window as well. Now we have another new window here and I'm going to pop that to the side so that I can see my two things. Okay, here, so. So this one, there's going to be. I got the, the video over here, and now I'm going to go back on the team. Up oh, too far back again. I'm going to go back on the team and go to this notes from the stream video. Click view assignment. Click on this file. It's going to open up here. Now, this isn't a Word document. It's a, a OneNote file, so you don't need to click edit in browser. It just automatically can go. So... Um, watch the video and fill in the notes as she's doing uh, the problems and taking the notes. So the notes go right along with the video. So you can watch the video over here and take your notes over here. Uh, you can click on the draw tab, grab a pen, grab a color, and, and write on your screen. Grab the eraser if you need to and erase. Okay. Uh, when you're done with that, click close, click turn in. Okay. The video over here. Once you're done, you can do that. You know, take that out. We still got our calculator back here. All right. The last thing you need to do this week for math is this uh, 10 point assignment right here square and cube roots. And we click on that. This one's a form. Okay. You're going to want that calculator open. So you click on the form and then 
go through and answer each question. Use the calculator to help you. By this point, you should know how to solve these problems um, if you've watched the video, done the notes, and done the two other worksheets. Um, so those are all the things you need to do for math for week three.